Surprise! We're back in the hole! Back in the fucking hole again! I'm back in the fucking pit. Again! We are wasting no time. Because we've already spent enough time wasting here. Hey, Maddie, how's it going? This is the lowest level of the Pit of a Hundred Trials. A zombified dragon named Bonetail used to protect this room. Yuck! I'm Mario, back I bet. In the fucking <laughs> building again! Good. Mm -hmm. Mario, I bet you're the first person to make it this far. I totally knew you'd do it. Now let's get out of this creepy place and back to the world above, okay? Probably the first person to make it this far. Definitely the first person to make it this far twice. What? Hello! Wakuhoo! I am Waka! You should have traveled a long way to see me! It's kind of cramped and dark out here, but it's also super quiet. Such a relaxing getaway spot, whoo! That's a rare Waka. I don't think you see any of his kind anymore. Nope. If you whack a Waka, they drop a Waka bump. You're gonna either eat those or sell them for a high price. You did hear me when I said these critters are rare, right? Just checking. Because that means you should not whack them. You do understand that, right, Mario? You only live once! How could you?! Wahoo! So that's why you're here. You wanna play with me? In that case, let's play! Ba bam <laughs> This battle is inevitable. Yeah! I deliberately have not looked up this song. <laughs> Attacka of the Wacka! That's a Wacka! They're pretty rare, but you can also find them hiding in Keel Hall Key. He's got max HP of 108, an attack of 10, and defense of 1. I never expected to run into one of these guys all the way down here. When he's attacked, he'll drop a Wacka bump, and he'll use that bump for a powerful attack of his own. That means we should try to use as few attacks as possible to keep him from dropping those Wacka bumps. Seriously, I never expected to fight a Wacka. It's so hard to tell what they're thinking. I bet he gets real scary when he's mad, but I hope we don't find out. Oh, that's an interesting gimmick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are going right the fuck in. That is kind of the opposite of what they want you to do. Oh no. Oh. That is not good. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, and you know what's even funnier? Each one of those counts as one one <laughs> bump. Also oh, I figured as much. Mammal spirit tomb? Fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah Alright. There's definitely something. Why? Why him? <laughs> Powerful baby. Do you know how many bumps that's going to create? More. I want more bump. <laughs> Any bump. Defense is boosted. We're gonna need it. Now, fuck. That hurted. Okay, but that's. A, I do like that dizzy animation. It's really good. Many bump, many bump. Fuck. Oh my butt. Many bump, many bump. 
Many bump. Red bump. Red. See? Red. Whoa! Whoa! I see. No! That was so fucking mean. Hey, you're not dizzy anymore. I'm not. That was certainly a thing that happened. Alright, please hit. Yeah, so you can uh, be very careful with this fight and try and defeat him in as few hits as possible. But I find it way more entertaining to just fucking bump it up. Also, it doesn't help, or it doesn't hurt that the the bump attack, like the launching the bumps, that is comparatively pretty easy to uh, uh, to super guard because of how much yeah, lead. Noticed. There's a lot of lead time on it, and that's something that's actually true for uh, the other super boss. Oh, fuck. Although, if you don't do the timing... <laughs> then you're fucked, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's my la the last one, unfortunately, so... Oh, now I get refreshed. <laughs> and Hold Fast is completely useless in this fight, because... Mm -hmm. No melee attacks. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... For the strongest individual hit... We'll probably want Flurry. But she's actually kind of low on health, so... We're gonna have her appeal. And we are going to use some of our delectable meals that we cooked. Yummy. I don't really have any much need for the SP at the moment. Yeah, I don't have that many <laughs> actual HP centered things. But that's fine. Side note, uh, collecting all the recipes sucks. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Incredible. He spent his turn to hurt himself. To give himself some- <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> what are you doing here? Bribed the stage hands. I guess you could say that. Yeah, I, I'm fucking obsessed with this song. It's very good. Oh no, that's a red bump. I don't like that. Ow. Sorry, Flurry. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Couldn't even guard that one. Well, uh, Flurry's gone. Oh, thank you. Much All right, hottest dog, spicy glizzy. Ooh. 
Not as much as I would have liked, but it's fine. Hey, stop that! Oh, God damn it! Oh, no! This is fine. This is not gonna be the first try. There's no way this is the first try. Okay, I well, see now how they try to screw you. Ah! The fuck? Ow, my body. Sure. Bum, 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 da, 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 da. Wacka, you gotta kill yourself. Yeah, Mario might not even have to do anything. This is not a particularly good situation. It's not, you said that was that was rare. It's the same odds. It is the same odds as any other uh, any other event. It's just that certain events only become available once you reach a certain level. And that and seeing someone reach that level is the rare thing. Or rather, the game is almost over by that point. We might be able to do this this turn. God damn it! Unless. Oh dear God. No! We almost made it! Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure, that was pretty lucky. Yeah, that didn't help at all. <laughs> That hurt. <laughs> I've already committed to my Maybe badge a layout. Less bunking this time. Oh! Never mind. Huh. Let's mix things up a little bit. Doesn't that usually put you right back at the start of the fight? Uh, in many other instances, yes. You really keeping power bound? No. Really shouldn't. Um, fire drive is not going to be that useful. Neither would quake hammer. Um. Hammer man. <laughs> hammer man could be the strat. <laughs> what is, like? Cause what is it? Like, what's the? Uh, oh, just by one. Oh. Uh, I mean, if I do nothing but power smash. That does minimize the number of bumps. I've got a ton of FP. I don't really need that much F, uh, like flower saver. Um,.
Thinking emoji. Hmm. Shall we start playing the quiz theme? <laughs> um. If I'm not jumping, because because all or nothing only affects Mario. If I'm not jumping. All or nothing is going to be a net gain because if I manage to fuck up, um, fuck up a hammer, that's going to be fucking impressive. If I'm being honest, um, so yeah, hammer throw. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. All or nothing with fire drive, really? Yeah. <laughs> Look, if I either hit it or I don't, what I don't know what you want from me. Fuck it. We ball. All right. I hope the end of the fight forgets that I was like three feet away from him. No jump. Oh fuck, I gotta tattle first. So, um, we're kind of, kind of beating around the bush here. This is a, this is a very similar to a concept from a lot of, uh, from a lot of Paper Mario 64 mods, um, in which, uh, in which Wacka is made into a boss. Um, I don't know why, but okay, that is as much as the power smash, so that's not worth it. But I d it's good to know that he is susceptible to burn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comedic value, I suppose. What? Sure. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Even the burn? Even the <laughs> burn! Bingo! I think it started out because there was leftovers of a of a of something to do with Wacka in the fight cat in in like the game's fighting data. Like a combat stuff, like a, a tattle in battle kind of thing, um, or something. But I could be completely wrong. God, that burn's really starting to make me nervous. <laughs> I'm glad that he's so good natured about it. I think Shell Shield might be part of the strat. God, he's already very low on health. Yeah! I 
I gotta stop humming along. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be painful if I do. God damn it! Close enough. Eh, it'll last one turn. Hey, stop that! I do love the Paper Mario <laughs> series' dedication to the one fucking wash pan falling from the sky <laughs> over and over again. Rise, Koops. Ascend to godhood. I'm fine with either, honestly, <laughs> with the situation that we're in. <laughs> Fuck it, I got plenty of FP. Might as well use the the one that has. Uh... He does have one defense. Mhm. Mm That's pretty strong. Oh yeah. So fun fact: he can only do this once in the entire fight. And sometimes oh, he'll really? do it on the first turn. Nice. Like he did before. <laughs> yeah. I super guarded all three of those, and only one of them actually counted. It's mostly to scare you, yeah. Mario's doing some insane damage, though. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, Shell Shield kind of, kind of yeah, walls whack us. in this fight. Lamo. Oh God, damn it! <laughs> Fuck. That's not Shell Shield. That's uh, fine. Sorry, Coops. Gonna use up one of my life streams. It's fine. Ha 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 <laughs> okay. Just for good measure, stay away. Send him to the stratosphere. <laughs> Dunzo. Over's your kill. Leet! Leet! Yo! That's amazing. <laughs> Wackawoo! Guess I was. But that was fun. Hope to see you again sometime. Got you got a gold wacka bump. A shiny wacka bump obtained from wacka. It sadly cannot be eaten. Huh. Is that just a bragging rights reward? Or does it actually do something? Uh, uh, little column A, little column B. <laughs> <sighs> Congrats, you tireless motherfucker! 
You've had Goombella tattle on every kind of enemy. Your tattle is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad guy gossip. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special reward, the Tattle Trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. That was pain. But it was a good time. Well, the first time it was. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Uh, good. Maybe getting there in the first place also. We didn't, we didn't see that part. No, that, that wasn't so bad. I just spammed Gale Force again. <laughs> um, but the fact that I did that three times is just, it's a bit much. All right. Let's respec. Definitely want you. And now... <laughs> so many low health badges. Look. I got a lot of them. They cost 1 BP. It's like popping a popping in just grabbing a little little a mint from the door on your way out and then sometimes you have three mil three hundred mints I don't think end of sentence honestly Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, so. Before we go and do the next set of things on our list, uh, I've got a handful of badges I still need to collect. List of really? badges. And paper Mario, I thought you'd have them all by now. I should have, but then I realized I didn't have them all while I was already in the pit. Uh-oh. Yeah. So, I go to my badge list, and I sort by alphabetical. Uh, fine. Go pay a visit to Charlington. Charlington, I need your services. <laughs> and now we walk two screens away. Wow. 
And we go back up. But yeah, how how you been doing today, Mush? You said you were busy at work. What was you tell told me about yeah. it? The shipment arrived late again. Hmm. Like I the the boss has only been giving us four hour shifts recently. Mm. I I don't know why, presumably so he doesn't have to pay us as much. But like <laughs> uh when when the shipment arrives two and a half hours into a four hour shift <laughs> Things aren't the fun. Mm -hmm. I got I got a lot of time at the beginning of the day, at the beginning of the shift, to do absolutely nothing, and then have to get as much of the shipment unpacked as I can in the last hour. Yep. Sounds like good planning on their part. At least I wasn't working alone again today. Mm hmm. The guy that just didn't bother to show up on my last shipment shift, he got fired. Yep. It's his third strike. Hell yeah. Get fucked, dude. Like, I, I don't know what his home situation is. He might have a reason for it, but, like, at least tell someone then. Mm hmm. Both times, my manager had to find out from me that he didn't show up. Because he thought he. It, just in case he did, uh, might have forgotten to sign in. So now we're going to walk back and forth one. Time to make sure that we purchased the full extent of Charlie's wares. And it appears... Oh, you're telling me it's a combination of time spent and number of screens. That we have. Uh, no, it's just, it's just the, uh, it's just the number of time loading screens. So it's two loading screens away. All right. Um, but that is all but one badge. Do you want to guess where this badge is? Two locations. Oh, there's two of them? Yeah. One of them is replenishable, but that's boring. <laughs> so we're gonna go get it in the one time only spawn. The pit! Correct! No. We are out of the pit. Um, but it is, if it was in the pit, I would have got it already. Um, but yeah, so the badge in question can actually be obtained through one very specific way that was not present in the original game. And it is at Creepy Steeple. Oh, really? Mm hmm Oh, as long as I'm here, is it a reward for the Boo Quiz or something? Bingo! That is exactly what it is. Ah. Fun fact, in the original game, uh, the parrot did not have a tattle by Goombella. That's Duplass's parrot. Seems like he's been abandoned down here. Poor little guy. <laughs> Duplass left me here and ran off. Somebody let me out of here. Oh, I give up. Squark! Yeah, pretty, pretty bird! Yes, you are! <laughs> we can't even let him out. 
He just kind of hangs out now, yeah. Fucking pink. All right, so. Mm-hmm. So, we are now going to play uh, Random Boo's Quiz Hour for about 20 minutes. Boo's Quiz? I don't know a lot about alcohol. But um, bum You voiced this boo for the record. <laughs> Back some more, eh? Want me to quiz you again? You get all three of my questions right, I'll give you something good. Quiz me! Get your first question. What is Hooktail in relation to Gloomtail from the Palace of Shadow? Hooktail is Gloomtail's younger sister. Very good. Question two. What is the name of the sun mentioned in the letter held by the dull bones in Hooktail Castle? Corvallis, in Colorado. <laughs> Very good. Question three. Which symbol appears on the black pillars inside the great tree? It's not a full moon. It's not a mushroom. It's not a jabby. It's a left-facing puny. Very good. You got all three questions right? I guess you've earned this. You're a huge brain, you nerd. Come back again sometime, okay? It's it real dull in here. Yay! And now we walk back and forth. You can do these during the quest. Fifteen. Oh boy. Your first question. Goombella is in which year of her studies at the University of Goom? Um. Junior. Very good. Question two. What's the name of the puny shopkeeper in the great tree? Pungent. Very good. Question three. What's the name of the manager of the Glitzville Fresh Juice Shop? It's not Podly. So it has to be Podler. Podly is the manager of the bar in town. That's right. That's right. I, I knew the name was familiar. <laughs> Question four. In the Glitzville Glitz Pit, which team is described as the Grim Death Burglars? The Handed Overs. Are you using a guide or is your brain that crazy? My brain's just that good. Question five. Which model of hammer did you obtain from the Glitzville Glitz? The Hammer Whack 2005, obviously. <laughs> Very good. Question six. How many crows can be found throughout all of Twilight Town? Um... Hmm. <laughs> uh. I believe ten. Very ha! Good! Quite impressive. Which of these is not one of Luigi's adventuring pals? FT. Very good. Question eight. Which of these things does not have spikes on its head? Spinia. It is the green one, mm -hmm. the basic version. The basic ass one. Question nine. Remember Lala, the boo who works at the parlor in Rogueport? Which of these things does she like? I believe the tabloid said. Oh no! Wait, I heard this from. Um. This guy. I can delete this one because it's about, um, all right, um, 
That's not important. Uh oh. Uh, I I think it was uh honey mushrooms. Oh my god. <laughs> Very good. Question 10. What time was shown on the clock when Mario's group first arrived at Riverside Station? Five o'clock. Wait, no. Hang on. I might have the VOD for this. <laughs> Let me see. Cheater. Yeah, I'm a cheater, so what? Better than looking up a guide. Hey. Not that one. that one okay good news is I still have the vod for uh I still have the vod for lifeline on my computer fuck it five o'clock <laughs> ha my gut was Very right good. question 11. What is the name of the far outpost bob on that judges personalities by studying people's mustaches? Swab. Ah! Too bad, foolish mortal! Almost got it! Yeah! No! Anyway, I have it in, I, I have it, uh, in good... I'm fairly confident that his questions are the same every time. If they're not, well, we're going to be here a while. Back for more, eh? Junior. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pungent. Really, it's the same. Bodler. Handed overs. 2005. 10. FT. Spinio. Honey mushroom. Honey. I I can't believe I genuinely remembered that. Uh, Rob. Very good. Question twelve. Which of these enemies can only be found in the X Not Fortress? Zeux. What? Stupid yeah, I. That's right. It's the X Yux. <laughs> right, Z Yux is on the moon. Quiz me. Junior. Pungent. Toddler. Handed overs. 2005. 10. Hefty. Spinia. Honey mushrooms. 5 o'clock. Rob. Rob Om. Um. Exios. X. Yeah. We 
Which of these enemies can be found at the Palace of Shadow? Dark Wizard. Very good. Fourteen. Not counting Mario, how many of his partners wear a hat? Goombella. Not Koops. Not Yoshi. Vivian. Vivian. Not Miss Mouse, but yes to, uh... Bobbery, perhaps? Bobbery, yes. So it's three. Very good. Question 15. How many boos come out of the box located underneath Creepy Steeple? Total. 200. Very good. You, you got all 15 questions right? Yeah! I mean, boo! Here's your nerd prize, nerd. Come back again sometime, okay? It gets real dull in here. Money, money badge. Makes more coins appear after battle. That's totally useful at this point of the game. Congrats. <laughs> You've obtained every single badge, whether earned or uncovered, purchased or found. The complete collection is now at your fingertips. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special award, the badge trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to friends. You've earned the right to brag. Badge trophy, Yay. tattle trophy, and the gold whack -a bump Yay! I also got the cooking trophy, but that wasn't exciting. <laughs> oh... Congratulations! You've collected all the recipes, obtained every badge, and filled up your entire tattle log. Wow! Head on over to Rogueport's main square. A shiny reward is waiting for you. Ooh. So, I might have said that only one new item was added to the entire game. That was not 100% accurate. One regular item, the hottest dog, was added to the game. And one badge was added ah. to the game. Or no, two badges. Nostalgic tunes, I guess. But <laughs> One other badge. And here is that badge. <laughs> it's so worth it. Now there is nothing else for me to do in this game. Not under the noose. Yes, under the noose. But now there is nothing else for me to do in this game. Except. Except. <laughs> That's a lot of bumps. Mm-hmm. A lump of something. I love that description. <laughs> Sorry. Attacker of the Wacker. 
<laughs> All right. Well, we've got one more task to complete. Oh, wait. I lied. Um... Trouble Center. We gotta go. We gotta go. Make sure that he knows that I took care of that. And then we've only got one more thing to do. I have done nothing but lie to you all. Or at least be very choosy with m what I what I talk about. So you erased my good feedy shop. <laughs> you erased it, Shloom. I am so grateful for it to you. But it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess I will just trust you, Shashakity. Take this reward, Shapow. Zesty made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow, Shafoom. Huh? You have too much stuff, Shabui. I will leave this snow bunny for you behind Cannon Statue so you can grab it anytime. I am going to start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is. Shafoom! Promise me. Shakroom! We did it. Yay! <laughs> Eat the snow bunny to make room for a snow bunny. <laughs> Feels so weird walking around this color. <laughs> All right, now that we've taken care of both of those things, we have one last task. And that is to challenge the reigning champ. Well, not reigning champ, he's retired, but still. Mm -hmm. All right, Junior. Let's go and save our game. Mush? I I know, I'm just trying to remember what the voice I gave this guy was. Just some guy. I, I stand ready for a match with you anytime. I'm not ready to surrender my title to you just yet. A bed fit for a king, who is also made out of gold. <laughs> Good thing I did too, because I thought I, my star power was full. Alright, Prince Mush, no need to pull our punches against this guy. Get ready to brawl! And this time Mush is here for this. <laughs> okay, Mario, let's show these people another great fight. And I'm also zappy. 
hip hop. That little animation. Hip to the hop, to hip hip the hop, you don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie to up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogity bee. All right, I need you to help me remember what stance does what. Uh, gotcha. You'll you'll know soon enough. But you uh, so since you weren't here for this, Mush, this is actually for both of our benefits then. Mm -hmm. So let's do the tattle check. That's Prince Mush, the original champion of the grit, uh, the original champion of the glitz pit. He's finally making his comeback. He's got a max HP of 96, an attack power of 6, and defense, and defense of, six. of 6. You'd never guess that he was kept away from fighting for such a long time. He's still a powerhouse. He's known for being a clean fighter, so he'll come straight at you without relying on dirty tricks. He'll, uh, he's also known to switch between different battle styles. Just keep an eye on his stance. When he changes it up, we'll have to think fast and come up with a good attack method. And if you're not sure, you'll come out on top to try to rely on super guards. Also, I've heard he's not a fan of cake. What's the story there, hmm? Some cake-based trauma in his past? Whatever. If you can manage to beat this guy, you'll become the true unrivaled champion. <laughs> well, I thought you should try his tricks with him, him too, huh? Yep. Okay, so when he's yeah. hopping, he's immune to attacks from the side. When he's like that, he's uh. immune to attacks from above. And when he's Super Saiyans... That's pretty respectable damage. Ooh, that's also respectable damage. Especially for Maus. Yeah. Now he's gotta be now we gotta All jump right. on him. Gotta jump on him. Ah! 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 Oh, oh. Ah! Yeah, so something unique to his fight uh, is that you have to super guard some of his attacks to get him to stop. Oh, boy. <laughs> the, the timing is pretty lenient. What the what? fuck? <laughs> you finally get a bingo. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> We've already made it further than we did last time. Oh yeah, that's right. He has what? FP siphoning moves too. Huh. Just a bit of health back. I got them. Ooh. Ba -ba the piercing blow is what's really gonna make this a much easier fight. Mm -hmm. Six defense. Six! Six defense. Alright, now you gotta, gotta jump on him. Huh. Oh, fuck. Six defense. Oh, fuck off. Hmm. <laughs> the mouse can't actually attack him when he's like this. Mm-hmm. 
respectable. I don't know what status ailments he is uh, susceptible to. But it's time to find out. Didn't think so. Wait, he's still immune to this. Fuck, he didn't change his stance. But I'm still styling. <laughs> yeah, it might be worth just appealing for a bit. Oh, wait! Who's there to appeal to? This is so bad. Now uh -oh. we can hammer him. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Not having an audience is a really bad thing. Because it means I can't get any star power back at all right now. <laughs> we need, need to land this bingo. Bingo? Bingo, 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 bingo! Bingo! Oh. Bingo! Fighting, fiery fighting spirit is now burning within Prince Mush. Well, that's a new stance. Owie! Whoa. He's also been immune to the zap, by the way. Mm -hmm. How is no one watching this fucking fight? Scared him all the way with our poison mushroom stank. What? Piercing blow didn't work. I would have been dead if that didn't work. <laughs> Much requested they watch from a safe distance. Okay, fighting a guy named Prince Mush is kind of confusing for me at the moment. Yeah, I was gonna say. Holy okay, crap. Nearly there. No! Okay. Oh, life room. Life room. <laughs> hey! Fuck out of here! Oh, now the audience comes back. I'm hiding now. Bye bye. Ah! <laughs> oh wait. Oh, Lord. That's right. I remember his gimmick now. You have to super guard him to do the last bit of damage. Oh. What the fuck? Which I can't do much about that right now, but. Super guarding him breaks his stance. I would be appealing right now if I had anyone. Exactly. Hey, check it out!
I'm super guarding! Okay, I've got some audience back. this coming you couldn't plan a more ferocious battle <laughs> wild moves raw power flying fists of fury what beautiful destruction this was without a doubt inarguably definitely absolutely completely an extreme battle of the very highest caliber but there could only be one winner and this time, it was the great Gonzales! Woohoo! Yippee! Woohoo! Here's your prize money. 30 coins. I'm made of it. Oh, that's right. I hear Mush. Uh, sorry, make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway, if you want to catch him now. That's all. Take care, Gonzalez. Okay. Ooh. No. I'm used to having Doug Jr. out. <laughs> you so much for that incredible match. Now, we put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider it a thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. You got Prince Yay. Mush's belt. A belt matching Prince Mush's... Uh, a belt matching Prince, Prince Mush's and a sign of his friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime, and I intend to win it. And that is everything. Game. That's, wow. That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Given how many times I tried the fucking sh uh, Shadow Sirens fight at the beginning of last time. <laughs> well. I'll be damned. So, uh, now what? I don't know, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> uh, let's go check on Professor Frankly. You know what, fuck it. Let's just go on a little world tour of all the areas that we've been and see what everyone's up to, if they've got anything interesting to say. I'll stay here and continue my research a while longer. 
Yes, I'm fond of this place. Feel free to drop by any time you like. There's nothing in the trash. And... All requests completed. We haven't had any troubles coming in lately. Maybe you've solved all the world's troubles already. I suppose that's good, but it's terrible for business. <laughs> you want to take on a trouble yet, uh... All right, what are you up to, Ishnail? Hey, you! That was amazing! I can't believe how you cleared out that darkness! Ooh, sorry, Dots, you just missed them both. Yep. <laughs> Why am I piss-colored? Because I'm a winner! I think this character was actually you, Mush. I don't remember. <laughs> you can check the chart. You really are incredible! If I ever have a problem, I'm going straight to you! You saved the world, guy. You're welcome here anytime. My house is yours. Well, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> no, not that much. The other one. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just quickly take a tour. And say hi to all the major characters that we that we uh, that we met along the way. And if I'm feeling up to it, fuck it. I'll go back in the pit and I'll fight Wacka again. <laughs> oh my god. Why not? I haven't done any of these on stream, now I think about it. Hey, you zoo again! You know, the sky going dark wasn't nothing at all. It was great for us! You should have seen the way people were blowing their dough. Alright, I haven't done any of these on stream. Did I beat Wacka or Prince Mush? I did both. Beat Wacka first because he did all the... Uh, pit grinding off stream mm -hmm. and wanted to have wanted to quote have his switch back yeah i had my switch put in sleep mode on floor 99 for like four days i'm a winner New record. A new record. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. A new record. Uh. Okay. Did it not? Go, did it not go through? I heard something very muffled. Uh, that's uh, that's because sound uh, noise suppression is doing its job. <laughs> Fight harder versions of the boss mode like RPG did. Uh, I uh, is that new to the remake of Super Mario RPG? Uh, I I don't really know. I don't know a lot about the original game. I haven't played the and played it or the remake. Wonky, why are you here?
No, I didn't need to get what? to the end anyway. I just wanted to show these off in the remake. Because <laughs> they're silly. I think that's one of the only times I've ever lost money on one of those games. Tube game! This is the first time I would have done this one. Probably also play a Mario Fall Guys thing. Tube. Go! Mario, go! Whoa, that's a hole. No. That was foolish. Yes, it was. all the tokens. The money. <laughs> Rolling backwards to get, go back and grab the to the tonic uh, the to tonic the token. Jesus. I'm good. Would you play a Sonic Fall, guys? Well, yeah, that's gonna happen. <laughs> Sonic Rumble is coming out soon. That's the joke. Mm hmm. Boat game. I'm sure that your PC could handle it, Dachi. It's nothing much. I mean, that depends entirely on how the graphics are optimized. Okay, that's fair. It's actually pretty easy. I guess it looks like there's a lot going on. Also, this. Two laps. Hmm. Well, that's all the Pianta games. Not super interested in those, to be honest. Hmm. You make money too slowly for it to be worth the time. But it is a much quicker means of getting the money money badge. Well, 
quotes quicker. Uh, I could buy more than one hammer throw to make it make hammer throw better for some fucking reason. <laughs> That's a lot of bad points. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. <laughs> I am the Pianta Changer changing machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. How many will you exchange? BB to BB exchange complete. Want to exchange more? <laughs> BB to BB exchange complete. <laughs> Probably didn't need to do that a third time, but it's fine. gone with all those earnings all right well we said hi to Don Pianta so let's see let's say hi to Frankie oh and I should probably grab a couple of these oh no you're really doing it probably Was this Dragoni or you? I think it was you. Hey, listen, Mario, you're incredible. Truly incredible. <laughs> you didn't just do the syndicate a favor, you did the whole world a favor. Peace returned to the world, and it's all because of my, you, Mario. Thank you. Oh, I know. We'll have the, we'll name the baby that we're going to have, Mario. I guess this all, all this fighting with the Robos is sort of getting old. That's it. I'm gonna pitch in and do my part to mend some of these fences. Whenever I see you, something always makes me want to be nice. You're a real pain. Oh, hey, it's you. Something tells me I can't just call you you anymore. You're Mario, after all. The guy who just saved the world. I'm honored just to know you. Yeah. Baby Mario lore. <laughs> Inexplicably, the child of two Piantas is just a real ass human. <laughs> Performing a Yakuza group, one wahoo at a time. With storks delivering babies, it's entirely... You're right. <laughs> Explain to me the fuck this is, you asshole. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you know what else we can do? Seven eight nine. This was you, if I recall correctly. <laughs> can you can you read this line? I don't know if I could. Uh, that that line is the noise that is currently playing right now. Ah! Ah! Amazing! Happy! Lucky! You won the second prize. Here's your rank two prize. Ooh. Yay! Congratulations to you! This is a lucky, happy day, that is for certain! Come back again tomorrow, too! I'll be waiting happily! I'm sure he will be. Starting role in Paper Mario. I mean, I mean to see it a thousand times. Nice Cosmo impression. Thanks, I try. Speaking of, about those royalties. Go see what the funny folks on the XS Express are up to. <laughs> now I'm just as excessive as I need to be to ride this train. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. That's all he has to say? All right. Wow. You again. This was you. There's only two of us, oh, much. It's going to have to be one of us. Oh, we're, we're actually doing the voices. Okay. I guess, yes. The food is so amazing here. I don't think I ever want to leave the train. Actually, I put on so much weight that I can't get through the door. But I have room service bring me stuff for now. Still, I should really figure out how to leave. Not a great situation to be in. Oh, hi there. I am a professor at Goomsley University. I am researching the feeding habits of the wild smorg, but I just cannot find any. You, uh, wouldn't happen to know where I could find any, would you? I don't believe this guy was in the original. That's a passenger on the XS Express. Well, I just love train travel. The scenery whipping by right in front of you. It's so much better than planes and boats, you know? Not a single thing to say about the smorg. Or about the professor. <laughs> At a rival <laughs> university. Bing bong, bing bong. 
This train will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. When I grow up, I want to be a conductor. I actually want to be right one right now. See, I thought he was going to go, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of a voyage is so full of excitement. But the end of a voyage is always beset by such a lonely sadness. Excitement, then sadness. Travel is so much like love in that way, you know? Yeah, I... I uh, that's kind of disappointing. Okay. Divorce. No, no, no qualifications for that statement either. Just divorce. <laughs> it's probably gonna take a little while to go all the way around the world seeing everyone, but it's fine. You think all my people back home worry about me while I'm off traveling? It always freaks me out to think that I might get in an accident and scare them. Think about it. Accidents happen. And you're telling me you still like to travel? I hate travel. You travel at the risk of your life, sir. <laughs> Get over it. You travel at the risk of your life, sir. Oh, great. Small. <laughs> I love Around kids the love trains. <laughs> Every child ever loves trains. Town NPCs are really the only ones that let you try them again. <laughs> well, good luck getting a fucking signal out here. Trains are, cool, yeah. trains are cool. I've told this story before on stream, but um, when I was a kid, um, I went to a theme park or something. I don't even remember where it was. Um, but I went to a theme park, and there was a little... Um, there was a little, like, ride-around train on, like, a set path. Um... Uh, around the, uh, around the ring, and I was very upset that I didn't get to ride in the train car, or in the, uh, in the, like, the train all the way up at the front, um, and so, I, when we were in line for the next train that we were taking, I was like, okay, I'm gonna run ahead and make sure I'm absolutely the first one there, and, it was a real ass train where I had to, and I slipped in front of my parents and just tried running towards the front of the train. And the guards, the the the, the people there were not particularly pleased about it. Uh, <laughs> nor my parents. I didn't get very far, obviously, but you know, I just had a very clear view of the side of the train, and I was just like, oh, oh, I made a mistake. Can you believe that there are no train sets for sale in this horrid place? I suppose I'll just have to build a train set store to sell me one for my son. <laughs> Little Bob didn't get a thing for his birthday. We'll just have to double up on gifts for next year. No, wait. I'll spend 20 times as much. That says there's no train set store here. I wonder where we can get one. Get, get one as in get the whole store. Yeah. 
This is also gonna be new now. Well, hello there, you spelled sleek plumber of a man, you. You're ravishing, dear. Thanks! I work out! Why do all the women in this game talk about Mario like he's a piece of meat? <laughs> Lately, there's been fewer tourists, so things are really quiet, eh? I was thinking about opening a souvenir shop, but maybe it was right to wait, sure. What did you stock the toy trains at your souvenir shop? Oh, actually, you know what? That sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> so, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure, take your time to soak in all its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, too. I've been traveling back and forth between Shiver City and Foshley Heights lately. Yeah, there are some things you can only do here and some you can only do there. So I've been trying to get the best of both worlds, yeah, you betcha. Aww. Our protagonist run through the genre's veins. Mario, by proxy, gets the affected by this. I don't know why, but the way you broke that down, very scientifically speaking, is very funny to me. <laughs> oh, oh, big yawn. This is definitely not going to be much longer of a stream. I just didn't want to cut, cut a stream at an hour and a half, so... It may not look like I it, but I get... We said you can't. It may not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better, you bitcha. By the way, you look... You've been under a lot of stress too lately, too. Stop a minute and walk around with me. Mario takes off his shoes to walk around in the grass, and then the fucking plot of... Goddamn, uh... Uh, Die Hard starts. Are all Who penguins Canadian? Oh my god, really? Yeah. Luigi. Uh, no, rather. I mean, M Mario. How are you, dear boy? Are all penguins Canadian? Only the ones that have been- that are, uh... Huh. Oh. This is gonna be you. Lady Bo, your beauty is like the song of a nightingale in the evening. Indeed, I feel you've grown into a fine young girl who'd make your ancestors proud. It is you, isn't it, Mario? Well, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? I've come here with Bootler. Yes, a little vacation to Poshley Sanctum. I hadn't left the mansion in ages. I figured it was time to turn some heads on the road. Why here? But what a nice surprise to see you. Feel free to be overwhelmed by my beauty. It's the Paper Mario 64 title theme. Mm hmm. If you go under special. Ah! <laughs> the trombone fucking kills me. Fridge is a penguin, though. Mm -hmm. Partially Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. You could just stare at it all day, you betcha. Mush's pronouns are what and ever. Oh, that's, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Partially Heights. It's sure nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. Mushroom's pronouns are, uh, Gonzo's crate from the, uh, I think, isn't it the... <laughs> the Great Muppet Caper. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, that's a Great Muppet Caper. 
I always thought that Mush's Sona looked more like a like an old timey uh, royal, uh, but that, at the same time, that is also somewhat feminine. We are the Traveling Sisters Three. <laughs> the water's so cold. Oh, but it feels oh. so good. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I, I don't care. They're gaslight gatekeeping girl boss. Yeah, you were. Yeah! I love that. Do it. I mean, you came back here? I guess Lori lives now. I heard about you, Captain. You seem to be saving the world each time I turn around. I always knew you'd do great stuff, but I gotta say, that's really something. I'm a full-time Bobbery fan now, I'll tell you that much. I wonder if he has anything unique to say with Bobbery out. Who? Oi, Admiral Bobbery! I heard you saved the world with a cat in there. That's my legendary sea mine of an admiral. Here's to you. I'll be a Bobbery fan for life. Yeah. Traveling Sisters yes. 3 for the... You keep the girl boss for the next game, Super Boss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. You find me most troubled. The women of this world, they fail to see my sheer charisma. My animal handsomeness. I, of course, must forgive them all. For I am Dupree. Evil? I totally can't believe it! How does this guy know where we're gonna be all the time? Did he swim here or something? Please, please tell me this is a nightmare. <laughs> que pasa? I need to go back to Rogueport. Len, there is a third game in this series. It's called Super Paper Mario. That's, that's a joke. Mush, there is a third game in this series. It's called Origami King. <laughs> I don't have any major gripes with Super, but I've also not played it, so... I always like Super. I didn't really have a problem with it being a different genre at the time, but, like, in re in retrospect, it might have been that, like, I don't know. I still love it. Oh my god, this guy. Hey, the sun came back, pal! Was it you? Did you save us? I'm happy. I'm so happy. I want to embrace life again. I want to believe again! I love you, man. What the <laughs> hell? Yeah, so I never paid him anything. Oh. So I couldn't get the benefit. So uh, in the original, the coin cap was 999. In this game, it's 9,999. Um, so the most you can get back from Lumpy is 999 coins. So in this game, if you pay him 300 coins, you don't max out your coin counter, but it is still a very worthwhile investment. In the previous game, it was only really worth it to uh, to do 200, because then you get 600 back. Um, 
because by that point in the game, you're more than likely going to have more stuff, so. Uh, I guess I'll just skim them a little bit. Yeah, he's got his own theme. <laughs> mm -hmm. You didn't know? I actually have never interacted with this guy. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. Read another. A Koopa with a fine mustache named Colorado. <laughs> back on an ambitious dreamer invites others to do the same to you old boy. I just I just want to believe in every dream this sad old world can muster I love connections to the first game. Mm -hmm. the wrap up Well,
fuck. Well, let's start in uh, Petalburg. Just make our way around. bigger problem with sticker star is not that the jokes aren't funny or that they're all paper based it's that there's not enough of them you got to keep in mind the majority of sticker stars gameplay is not text based it's, you... yeah, it's completely silent platforming for much of it and that's the that's the that's the reason that um, that color splash is such a big improvement among many things is just like there are some really good jokes in sticker star but the problem is that you don't they're so few and far between that it's never worth playing. Oh yeah, I helped this guy reach the the, the big tree. Oh, hey. Alright. Sacred entrance. Still a good gag. Oh no, Wes! We're going to have to be cautious! That's all I can think of when I read the secret entrance. Uh, can I do a Cosmo impression? Uh, uh, not really on command. The X Not Army likes. What tree trunk for the heck of it? <laughs> huh? Yeah, it was awful. Never do that again. Thanks. <laughs> The, the the big head origami king toad is so fucking strange. You don't even ever see the entire thing. It's the only reason we know what it, what it looks like is data miners. Thank you. Yeah, the only way to win that is Mario likes what person the best. Um, or no, it's not the best, it's the most. Because if you do the best, that's not grammatically correct. So she takes issue with it. I tried it like that, it didn't work. Because this game has a problem with its recipes, and that a lot of them require a very specific item that you can only get through one source. Um, basically anything involving the pasta, that exclusively, that means you have to have a billion and one things of pasta from the, uh, from the souvenir shop. Although, you can turn any other pasta into any other type of pasta with the right, uh, with the right ingredients. Um, yeah. but the big ones I'm talking about are, like, um, the golden leaf can only be found on one screen in, uh, in the creepy steeple. Um... So much of the, uh, so much of this shit, like, coconut, you can only get that on the back island. Mm -hmm. Egg bomb, you can only get the mystic egg by doing stump patoonie, 
And that's required to do, like, the omelet, the omelet meal, or the fried egg, the omelet meal, and, like, a bunch of other things. And, and there's only one of them, so you have to reset it. And there's a lot of items like that. The golden leaf, the mystic egg, the, uh, the fresh pasta, stuff like that. It's really, it's really annoying. So whenever possible, what I did was I just looked at and saw, like, this is something I do in Persona, too, where, um where I try to find the most efficient pathway to fuse the things I don't have so I can complete the compendium where I try and find what I can to do uh, to fill out what I've got. Yeah, that would be smart. I I just I never use a guide or anything for my first playthrough of any Persona games. Well, I I only do it for the calculation thing, but that's about it. Yeah, and that, it's a very complicated system for what is, by comparison to other games, a small health or mana. And, and that's the other thing, is, like, most of them aren't even good or worth the effort. Like, the Zest Deluxe is categorically, like, not worth your time unless you have a wacka bump Which, in this game, mind you, there's, like, maybe six of them? Um, you can get more. You can guess how. Um. But, like, for the most part, you don't need more than... I'm gonna wander around a little bit longer, um, and then wrap things up. It's not All very, right. not, not a super in-depth stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for hanging around for a bit. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna do anything on Saturday. I any super bosses. Yeah. I haven't looked anything up for either of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna do a stream on Saturday because I've got a concert, um, and tomorrow night. I'm working until close, so I'm probably not going to do anything. Hmm. So, oh well. Maybe Sunday. I don't know. But yeah, go to bed. Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright. Before we do that... Um... Let's do this. <laughs> You're gonna fight Mush right after Mush leaves? We fought Mush already. Wait a minute, what am I doing? That should be good. Oh. Ah, I could do more meme.
That's a lot more damage than I thought. Oh god! Double pain really do double that pain. Fuck! Oh god. Get down from there, asshole. Oh, you know what? I could totally finish this in one more turn. Hang on. That's good enough. No, not normal hammer. What are you taking me for? Got him. <laughs> that was dumb. That was very dumb. Oh my god, Mario's barely visible. Why is the cock hurting so much? Because I'm wearing double pain. Get that shit off of me. Welcome back with the pizza. Shrimp, that's good. I like shrimp scampi, but that's about it. I'm not a huge fan of shrimp otherwise. I don't really like most seafood in general. try and speed up this little world tour we got going on because I do want to call it soon because it is almost 11 o'clock just a minute shy of it um uh, have you ever tried eel no or yes I have actually it's fine it's very tough eels are basically sea snakes in the way that their bodies are built and the way that their mus musculature develops, and so as a result, they are very, they are very tough meat. Yeah. 
Oh well, I'd rather you know do it next time. At least he learned from his mistake. Len, I like how you called shrimp the bug of the sea. Um, and then you say, uh, and then you say that you like, uh, that you like snow crab sushi, which is like, e like even more bug. It's also hairy. Hot take crab is just as the the whole uh, way of eating crab is like kind of gross because um, it really does feel way more like bugs. Get fucked. You might be wondering, why the fuck am I doing this? And that's because I'm like, 3 XP from the from leveling up, and I would like to get a level up and clear out that star point counter. Ow. It's not the method, of, it's not the taste of crab that I dislike. I just don't like the uh, sensation of tearing the thing's legs asunder. Because it reminds you a little too much of how bug-like it is. Crab Pokemon with bug typing. No, Len, that's crab. You do that for crab too. Do you know what a crab hammer is, Len? Do you know how it got its name? It's from eating crab. It's designed specifically for the demolishing of crab shells, so that you can eat them like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, Crustle and Dwebble are bug-type crabs. Yeah! Tornado jump stylish is so fucking goofy. There's a gay little roll to piss you off. Pardon me. Oh, fuck off. God damn it, I'm an idiot.
Yeah, no, Len, like I said, I don't mind the taste of crab. It's just the working for it that I don't like. And that's usually the only way that I experience it. Because I live in fucking Maryland. It's basically a national pastime. have left to visit actually because we just visited um because we visited uh Ponchley Heights and uh Keel Hall Key already. I think it is far outpost. sad to say goodbye to this game. I know that we it took a good while to do it, but I'm a little sad to see it go. I knew he wasn't going to be here, but I had to know. implying that the pipe is the pipe leading to the steeple is made out of fucking velvet because it's the same material on the armchair as it is this curtain what else would it be this is the one body of water I think we've been able to stand in doing interrupting my me time. No, the pipe's not made out of anything shiny. It's made out of it's made out of the same same textured as the other ones. As the other things I pointed out in that scene. It's uh, the one that that's up to Mario's nose, I mean. But yeah. Like, you can stay. There are a bunch of them in Keel Hall Key that you can stand in, yeah, but, um. But nothing up to your neck. Every other one has the fucking Chompers guy come out of it. Same as ever. Where's Dupless?
Yeah, I think one of the reasons I don't have much, uh, much else to say right now is because it's so late. We started so much later than I intended, but it's fine. Oh, fuck off. Well, you had just enough experience points. By that I mean any. Yeah. All right, one final level up. Finally, we're all even. I thought Tornado was an AoE, honestly. Well, you know what, might as well go to the far outpost the old-fashioned way, since we're so near. It is only in air. Bump attack is so good. Cannon will not be fired until day we have been waiting for guns. My peace of mind is all thanks to you. Hot, hot. I am so grateful. That's everywhere. This was a lovely time. I greatly enjoyed this video game. Thank you all for watching. I don't think I will be streaming Brothership. Um, 
If I'm being honest, I don't know if I'm going to stream another Mario RPG for quite a while. So, next stream will be more, um, either be more, uh, Sonic Unleashed, or it will be the start of Volume 2 of uh, our little group's Archipelago Nonsense, which is nothing on CATV's 4, but, you know... Take some and you take some whatever. Volume two of Archipelago Antics. So, catch you all later for that. Won't probably won't be tomorrow. Definitely won't be Saturday. Might be Sunday. Um. So, stick around. I'm back in the fucking building again. <laughs> no, we're leaving the building. We're leaving the building, Alfred. Uh, but yeah, so we're... But then after that, we're going to be playing Raging Loop, which is a very interesting video game um, that I think needs a bit more appreciation than it, than it gets. So, and apparently it's going to get a spiritual successor slash sequel soon? So, you know... We'll see what that's about. Yeah. I do miss- I will miss this video game. It's a phenomenal remake. Thank you all very much for coming on this journey with me. And take care. Good night. Bye-bye.